So for our first exercise, what we want to do is we want to start with limb independence. Like I said before, you have three limbs that you have to use in order to create a bead. What we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on our torch hand first. What we want to develop is we want to develop muscle memory and vision and especially our travel speed in relationship to our machine settings. So for the first exercise, we're primarily going to focus on our hand, our dominant hand. If you're a right-handed, you start with your right hand, move left. If you're a lefty, of course, move, uh, go from left to right. So what we're going to do, cut, prep, tack, weld. You want to prep your material. What we're going to be doing is using this eighth inch material here. Uh, this is carbon steel, hot roll. I have cleaned off all the mill scale. You want to be clean when you're doing any kind of TIG work. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to do fusion welds. This is what we're going to practice with. We're going to take our torch hand and we're going to develop good movement, good, even consistent movement through the weld, developing that travel speed and our vision. So what we want to do first, we want to set up so we are comfortable. I like to, like I said before, I like to bow on my hose and just get, get the torch almost weightless. That's what I like. So get the torch almost weightless. What we're going to do is we are going to set up with our rules in play. Now with the opposite hands, I would recommend getting used to your hand being close to your material, roughly the distance you are going to feed from. Right now we're not using any filler metal. We are just starting the arc, liquefying our base material until your puddle comes up to about an eighth of an inch in diameter. Then we're going to try to keep that diameter and move it all the way through for about an inch and a half. And what we want to see is we want to see our toe edges staying the same the entire time, nice and even. So we're practicing developing that travel speed and muscle memory. Now, here's a couple of tips, okay? When you set up, don't lean on that hand. Remember, you want that hand to be light, you want to be able to move through, and you want to keep your tungsten as close to your puddle as possible. You want to be able to focus that arc on the puddle, keeping it nice and hot so it can penetrate into your material, and then you can move it through so you have more control. So, what we're going to do first is we are going to set up so our tungsten is roughly about a sixteenth of an inch away from our material to start our arc. And then we're going to liquefy the, our material and then going to pull it through developing our travel speed. So, cover up. After you have completed your weld, there's two things that you want to do. Take your foot completely off the pedal first and set it to the side. Anytime you're not welding, you always want to have your foot off the pedal for safety so you don't accidentally arc on yourself. Next thing, leave your torch in the end of your weld. Leave it there. The reason we do that is because you want the shielding gas allowing your puddle to so solidify under that environment of shielding gas. So A, your material doesn't oxidize, but nor does your tungsten. So leave it in there. As you're moving through, keep that hand right in front just to kind of simulate where your filler metal hand is going to be. So practice this several times. Try to get nice and even uh, toes to your weld.